In this video, let us solve problems based on Pythagoras theorem. So here we've got the question, which reads like this. A ladder 25 meter long reaches a window of a building 20 meters above the ground. Determine the distance of the foot of the ladder from the building. So let us now try and make this question into a diagram. It says that a ladder 25 meter long reaches a window of a building 20 meter above the ground. So say we've got the ground here. This is the ground. And then we've got a window which is 20 meters above the ground. So say, so say let the window be here somewhere in the end of this line. So this is 20 meters above the ground, right? So let's say this marking is a ground. Now then a ladder 25 meter long reaches a window of a building 20 meters. So it has to reach from somewhere. So let's say it reaches here so something like this so let's say this is 25 meters long the ladder should be 25 meter long now what's the question is that we need to determine the distance of the foot of the ladder from the building so this is the foot of the ladder from the base of the building or from the building so this is the building so you need to find the distance of this now well as far as the question is concerned it's quite a problem, but then when you know that you're solving problems based on Pythagoras theorem, then this is, an, you know, it's a very simple one. You've got a right angle triangle. See this, you know, look at this as a right angle triangle. Forget the building, forget the ladder and everything. Look at this as a right angle triangle. You've got a 25 meter here, you've got a 20 meter here. You have to find this one. So say if we name it A, B, and C, this is as simple as AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared. There is nothing more than this. So the hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So AC is 25. So AC squared is 25 squared. And then AB is 20. And AB squared is 20 squared. We need to find BC. So let BC be BC. And let, that's BC squared. So 25 squared is 625. And 20 squared is 400. And then we've got BC squared. Now we need to find BC, right? So let's take it to the left hand side so bc squared equals 625 minus a 400 so we've got bc squared equals 625 minus 400 is 225 so if bc squared is 225 bc is square root of 225 so the square root of 225 is 15 so the distance of the foot of the ladder from the building is exactly 15 meters this problem is as simple as this nothing much no complications. Well, we are still not into the advanced level of Pythagoras theorem. We will do so in the forthcoming videos. But before that, let's quickly solve another problem. In this video, let us solve a problem based on Pythagoras theorem. The question reads like this. A ladder 15 meters long reaches a window which is 9 meters above the ground on one side of a street. Keeping its foot at the same point, the ladder is turned to the other side of the street to reach a window 12 meters high. Find the width of the street. Now that we've got the question which is pretty direct, let us try to draw a diagram for this question. What it says is a ladder 15 meters long reaches a window which is 9 meters above the ground. Okay, first let us draw the ground. So this is the ground. And say the ladder which is 15 meters long, reaches a window which is 9 meters above the ground on one side of a street. So there are two sides of a street, right? This one and this one. So let's say the first one is 9 meters. So let that be here. So say this is 9 meters. And so this ladder 15 meters long reaches that window. All right, so something like this. And then keeping its foot at the same point. So this is where the foot of the ladder is. So the foot of the ladder is at the same point. Keeping that in the same point. The ladder is turned to the other side of the street. So from this side, where we've got 9 meters, it is turned to the other side of the street to reach a window 12 meters high. So 12 meters high should be definitely greater than, you know, this one. So say, yeah, we've got this is 12 meters. Now this ladder, the same ladder is turned and it reaches this one. Of course, the picture doesn't look logical. It doesn't fit the lens, but this is just an illustration. So uh, do use your rulers and measure it accurately, I mean, to get an accurate figure. So now this ladder measures 15 meters anyway. The side and this side, 15 meters. Here it has to reach 
length of 12 meters here it has to reach a length of just 9 meters so what they're saying is now if if this is the given data we need to find the width of the street we need to find this one all right so before we get into that let us name this appropriately so say this is a this is c and say this is b and say this is d and say this is e that is nothing but a b c d e so now let us solve this problem let's go ahead and find the width of the street so now you know we've already got the let a b is going to be the street a d is going to be one side of the street which has got a window at nine meters and b is going to be other side of the street which has got a window at 12 meters and this ladder is going to with its foot at the same point it's going to be reaching both the windows right the same length of the thing so what we have to do is the concept is very simple we've got two right angle triangles here this is one right angle and this is one right angle so if we find the third side of these two right angles then i think we've got the width of the street that's all we have to do in this case so first take one triangle apply the pythagoras theorem and find ac and take the next diagram apply the pythagoras theorem and find cb and then add ac and cb and you got ab that's all there is so it's pretty very simple problem this so let us first take the triangle acd in triangle acd the hypotenuse is nothing but the hypotenuse is the side that is opposite to the right angle so c is the hypotenuse so we've got c d square the pythagoras theorem states that the hypotenuse square equals to the sum of the square of the other two sides so c d square equals a d square plus a c square so c d square is nothing but 15 square a d square is nothing but 9 square and a c square is what we have to find so a c square is going to be 15 square minus 9 square a c square is going to be 225 uh, 15 square which is 15 times 15 is 225 minus 9 square which is 9 times 9 is 81 and we've got 225 minus 81 as 144 so if we've got ac squared as 144 ac is going to be square root of 144 which is 12. so we've got ac as 12 meters this one now we need to find cb and then add up ac and cb or bc whatever that is all right now in triangle let's consider this one now bce or bec in triangle bec the hypotenuse is CE, which is the opposite to the right angle. So CE square equals BC square plus BE square. Now CE is again 15. Is 15 squared equals BC square is what we have to find. And BE square is 12. So it's 12 squared. So we've got BC square as 15 squared minus 12 squared, which is nothing but 15 squared is 15 times 15, which is 225. And 12 squared is 12 times 12, which is 144. So BC squared is going to be 225 minus 144, which is 81. So BC squared is 81. BC is going to be square root of 81. So square root of 81 is 9 meters. So we've got BC as 9 meters. So here it is. So now we need the entire thing, which is AB. AB is nothing but AC plus BC. So it's 12 plus 9, which is 21 meters. So the width of the street is exactly. 21 meters now how you found this was very simple all you had to know was the pythagoras theorem and nothing else you had a perfectly two right angle triangles and you just have to apply the pythagoras theorem to those two right angle triangles to find the third side you know which made up parts of the street so here is ac is 12 and bc is 9 and 12 plus 9 is 21 meters so I'll see you with more problems and more concepts in the forthcoming videos.